Well, hello everybody. Um, this is Pastor Gloria. Um, this is to all my subscribers. I'm at the park. It's a beautiful afternoon. This is uh, September. This would be 9 9 17. 9 9 17. The nines. The nines. And uh, I'm just going to kind of wing this. I'm winging on a prayer. I love you all. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. If we keep our, keep our, don't let the devil rob us of our joy, because we all, because we have peace, joy, and love in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we're not, none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. And if I get part of the steps gets cut off, I can't help it. I've been trying to set, set that right. I'm gonna fall off the bench. <laughs> Um, I don't do videos to, to you all you guys very very long very very much. Um, I mainly up, upload my my uh, my scopes, as you all know. Um, but I decided just to get on here this afternoon and talk to you guys. And uh, I'm gonna do something else. This is my cross. This is who and what I'm all about. My Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ, who gave His life on this cross for you and for me. He shed his blood on this cross for us. And all this stuff that's going on in this world now, that's going on, there's reasons for it. There's reasons. And I let, like I said before, a lot of people turn a blind eye and a deaf ear because they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. We are in the ninth hour of judgment. Right now there's judgment on America. Believe it or not, it's the truth. It's the truth. And you know, warnings come before destructions. I know it's like a broken record. I've, I've said it over and over and over again. And I will keep on saying it. The Lord is saying to repent. For America to repent. To repent of their sins. To repent of their sins. To repent of our sins. To search, to search our hearts and souls. And if we have any any known sins in our lives, we need to give it to Jesus. We need to lay it at Jesus' feet. Me included. Me included. And I've said time and time and time again that Gloria is not perfect. And I'm not on here to glorify me. I'm on here to glorify my Lord and Savior. He loves me just as I am, people. He loves me just as I am. And I've lost a few subscribers over this last four years. I've lost a few. I've gained a few. But it's not about how many subscribers I get. It's not about that. It's about my love for Jesus and what he called me to do four years ago. What he called me to do. He handed down my dad's mantle to me. And yes, I'm a woman. But God is calling women. He's calling women now to preach his word, to get the word out. Male or female, it doesn't make any difference. Male or female. To get his word out, to advance, to get to advance his kingdom. To advance his kingdom. People have put me down. You shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that. Well, there's a lot of people that should be on here doing this. A lot of people should be, but they don't. And just like on Periscope, you know. We always say, push that broadcast button, because everybody has a, has a testimony. Your, your messes can, be, can be, be messages, your tests can be testimonies of what the Lord has done, what the Lord has done for us, even through all the bad, through the bad. We endure everything that I've been through, through all these years, things that I've been through. God has taken me through every bit of it. He's taken me through every bit of it. I couldn't have done it, but it had to be for my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. I couldn't have done it. Back all them years ago, like I've, like I've said before, I've only loved two men. Truly loved two men. That was my daughter's father and my first love. Jesus is my first love now, of course. He's my first love. But the first one, man, that I fell in love with was when I was a, when I was a teenager. 
and I had always said through the years, I had always said I never really got the man that I wanted. And that's not true either. That's not true because I did love Joyce's dad. I loved her dad. You know, we love people in different ways. We love people in different ways. And, um, but, um, people, some people said, well, you need to let some things go. You, you need to let, you need to let the past go. And I have, I have, I have. Um, I still, it's still in my thoughts. Sometimes it's still in my thoughts because he lost, he lost his wife a, a few years ago and he lost his his youngest son to and other people have said well Gloria you need to just go over there just show up just show up just say hello to him just say hello and see what kind of a response you get and I haven't done it I haven't done it you know and I go in circles as most of you know I go in circles I don't mean to but I do go in circles that's just me but the main thing of it is, I wanted to get on here, because all this bad stuff that's happening now with all these hurricanes, and many, many people will lose their lives. The open vision that I had over a year or so ago, the open vision I had about the wall of water coming at me, and big headlines, massive earthquake, visions. I've had dreams. I've had, I've had lots of dreams. Just like Jesus' mother, Mary. She was just just a woman, a vessel, like we are, just a vessel. People should not worship Mary. Mary was the mother of Jesus, yes. She should be respected. Yes, of course. But she was just a, a simple woman, a virgin, that God chose. That God chose. Let's do the, I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer. I forgot to do that. I'm going to, let's do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. They all said, Amen. And, um, you know, I've said too before, you know, God sometimes takes us around hills, around curves, up and down hills, around curves. And like the location, me and my family, our location, where we, where should be, where we should be, Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, say here in Illinois, well, my daughter and her husband, they decided to go to Indiana, back where they used to live. They call it their shack. And it's not anything fancy, but they love it. Just like me and her dad, we lived places. And the main thing of it was we were happy. We were happy. In the early years, we were happy until everything started. When we got away from the Lord, things started going downhill. Things started going downhill. <clears throat> That's why we need to have... We need to walk with Jesus. We need to walk with Jesus and talk with Jesus. I feel His Holy Spirit right now. I feel His Spirit on me right now. Just a peaceful feeling, people. Just a peaceful feeling that surpasses all understanding. Through all the years that I drank beer, just to get a buzz, to get a buzz. This is the best buzz a person could ever have. The feeling of the presence of the Lord you can't beat it you can't beat it we don't know when Jesus is coming we don't know when not even the angels in heaven know not even the angels in heaven know but the signs are there the signs are there and I want to straighten out something else too on the 23rd I thought that I thought we were having another solar eclipse, solar eclipse but it's not Something about the stars and the stars lining up, the planets all lining up, something that's never happened in history. The 12, 12 uh, planets, something like that. And uh, I, 
I can't, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but, um, I don't know what, I'm not sure what to do, Lord. What should I, what should I do, Jesus? Holy Spirit, tell me what I should say to encourage people other than you're never alone. We're never alone. We have times that we feel, feel that we're alone. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. But that's not true. We do have someone that cares, and that's and that's the Lord. That's that's Jesus. He does care, and he's like I said, he's just a whisper away. And some people want to believe in him, but some people have to have have to have proof that he exists. Faith, faith, it takes a lot of faith. It takes faith to believe what you can't see believe what you can't see you know, faith is a faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence not seen praise God hallelujah that just came to me Hebrews 11 1 faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence not seen that's something else that's something else I'm on my, my I'm on max this time I, I forgot my, my phone <laughs> forgot my phone so Ivan had to go to the house and bring it out here to me. Bless his heart. I'm just doing a, uh, I'm just doing a, a video, just a video to uh, my YouTube, my subscribers. You want to say hello to my subscribers? Hello. Everybody, this is Ivan. This is Ivan. Bless hello. his heart. Hello there, people. How are you he this afternoon? He's a very, very dear friend. Very dear friend. The other, the my other friend, he's back at the house. He decided to take a nap. He's not well. He has COPD. And I, I ask for you to all pray for, for Joe, for Joe. He's been in our lives a good many years, a good many years. Some of these days I'll get on here, and I, I have I have spoke about it a, a couple of times on some of my videos. I have over 900 and some videos on here now, not bragging or boasting, uh, but I have about 900 videos on here. And I've talked about all different subjects, people. To, to my new subscribers, I've talked about all different subjects. Um, toxic relationships um, my first love my dad my mother you know um, but like again I'm, I'm just a woman I'm just a woman that loves Jesus that loves Jesus pure and simple he called me four years ago to be his minister his disciple and I'm very proud and honored very proud and honored and on May 29th, you became the Reverend. And on Memorial Day, I became licensed and ordained. We saw uh, three rainbows that night. And also, that's my eldest grandson's birthday, Tyler. That was on his birthday that me and his mother and his stepdad, Michael, we all got ordained and licensed that night. Nowadays, I guess that they do it all, you know, they do it all at once. You don't have to have two separate certificates. It's all in one certificate. We are licensed to do the sacraments, marriage, you know, um, burials, you know, uh, funerals, things like that. Let's see, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to find a song to play for everybody. If I can get my wits, my wits about me here. <laughs> face no YouTube the senior moment people senior moment you know that I'll be 65 on my birthday on September the 12th I'll be I'll be 65 I don't care <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy that I'm I'm as, as in a good a health as I am for my age okay I'm gonna like videos there we go all right, I'm gonna play a song on here, and and I hope that it's okay. I hope they don't block the video. It's by Pastor Robert Joyce. He's a he's a preacher out of Arkansas, and I'm going to play this song. It is no secret what God can do. I'm gonna play it. Make sure my volume's up. It is no secret what God can do. 
by Pastor Bob Joyce, Robert Joyce. It's all the way up. does the miracles. sounds familiar well I'm not saying a word I'm not saying a word and um, I'm also going to put on uh, when I get ready to upload it I'm going to write right in the description box that um, giving credit to R Pastor Robert Joyce for that song and he's done lots and lots and lots of songs he's a, he like I said he's a pastor a minister out of Arkansas I'd love to be able to go to his church. I would love to be able to go to his church. You know, he's true blue all the way. True blue all the way. Strictly Bible. And like like back in the olden days, the, the, like the little churches we had back in the, back years and years ago. Not these mega churches, but thousands and thousands of people. Preach, he, he preaches it real. He's, a, he's real. He's real. And that's what we need. That's what we need. Ministers that are not afraid to, to preach, to preach. There is a hell. There's a heaven. But there's also a hell. And God doesn't want to send anybody to hell. We send ourselves to hell when we reject God. When we reject the Lord we send ourselves there 
and God willeth that no man perish. God willeth that no man perish. So if anybody wants to write to me on here for prayer, I would be very happy. I don't know how to do YouTube Live. I don't know how to do any of that. But if anybody wants prayer, to, to pray the sinner's prayer, I'll be very happy to pray to pray for you. And I love you all. So I'm going to read at least a couple of my devotions because my, my battery was down about 50% when I started this. And we're up to 21 minutes almost. Let's read a couple of, of, of my devotionals, and then I'm going to read Psalms 91, and I'm going to, I'm going to cut it off for now, okay? And then I'm going to get on my phone here after a bit. All right. Let's see. That, which... Uh, yeah, let's, we can do this one first. My devotional, Experiencing God Day by Day. We're going to do, this is for September the 9th. September the 9th. Returning to Your Failure. This is a title to this one. Master, Simon replied, we've worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but at your word, I'll let down the, the nets. And that's in, in reference to Luke 5, 5. No one knows how to help you in your times of failure as Jesus does. He will not overlook your shortcoming or simply encourage you to do better the next time. He will give you victory in the midst of your failure. Victory. Victory in Jesus victory in Jesus. Peter had fished all night without success. He was not just a meager catch. He had caught nothing, even though he was a skilled fisherman. Jesus could have said, Peter, don't worry about your empty net. You'll soon be in a different business anyway. Instead, Jesus told him to launch out into the deep and to cast out his net for a catch. How humbling it must have been for Peter. Here was a carpenter telling this outspoken fisherman how to fish. Jesus often gets your undivided attention when you fail. He sometimes takes you back to your place of defeat in order to build something good into your life. And you know, Satan is already a defeated foe. He's already a defeated foe. You, you may assume he must not want you to continue because you failed so miserably in your attempt. Perhaps your problem was that you relied on your, on your own strength instead of the master's. We relied on our own strength, in our own our own wisdom, you know, instead of relying on Jesus. Maybe you failed in a relationship. Jesus will not allow you to abandon it. He will help you learn from your failure and experience the difference. He can make what make when he guides your relationships. When you try in God's strength, you may discover that success is, is indeed within your grasp. If you have recently experienced failure, you may be on the brink of receiving a profound revelation from God. And that's a that's a good word. That's a good word. All right. This one here. Okay. All righty. This one is my other one. Your best you ever. And as you all know, it's not connected to Joel Osteen. All right, the name of this one is Seeking and Finding. Okay, it says, Ask and God will give you, give to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. Yes, everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who searches will find. And everyone who knocks will have the door open. And that's Matthew 7, 7, 8. Where is God? He is everywhere you have, you have ever been and everywhere you will ever go. He is with you night and day. He knows your every thought. He hears your every heartbeat. Sometimes in the crush of your daily duties, God may seem far away, or sometimes when the disappointments and sorrows of life leave you brokenhearted, God may seem distant. But He is not. When you earnestly seek God, you will find Him because He is here, waiting patiently for you to reach out to Him, right here, right now, to reach out to Him. Mark it down. God never turns away the honest seeker. He never turns away the honest seeker. Go to God with your questions. You may not find all the answers, but in finding God, you know the one who does. In finding God, you know the one who does. Amen. And Max Lucado said that. Oh God, you are always the same. Let me know myself and know you. St. Augustine said that. A lesson for the heart and soul. God is everywhere you have ever been and everywhere you will ever be. If you seek him sincerely and often, 
you will find him. That's a good one. That was for today. Now I'm going to do my Jesus always. And then I'm going to, I'm going to read Psalms 91 and I'm going to close it out. <clears throat> All right, September the 9th. My Jesus always. <coughs> I need a drink of water. Can you give me a drink of water? Hang on just a second. I got to take a drink here. Take a drink of my water. Thank you, sir. Oh, they always fill these water bottles too full. My good old Dizani water. It's not very cold now, but that's okay. I know it. That's okay. I'm drawing my hands with my hand. Water on my, I got water on my hands. <laughs> I'm just me. I'm just me. I'm just me. Alrighty, here we go. September the 9th. Your prayers are not cries in the dark. They rise to my kingdom of glorious light. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Mankind has long been plagued with eyes that do not see what is most important. People often fail to perceive the most obvious things. I can perform miracles before their very eyes, yet they see only mundane occurrences or label them coincidences. Only the eyes of your heart can perceive spiritual realities. That's so very true. That is so very true. I delight in people who have a teachable attitude. Yes, we must, be, we must, we must have an open heart. To be, to be able to be taught, to let the Lord teach us, be open-minded. It says, I delight in people who have teachable attitudes. When you come to me eager to learn great things which you do not know, I rejoice. A good teacher takes pleasure in a student who puts forth extra effort to discover new things. I am pleased with your desire to learn wondrous things from me. Your openness to my teaching helps you understand the hope to which I have called you, to the hope which I have called you, the riches of my glorious inheritance in which you share. You can look forward to living with me in the holy city where the glory of God provides the light. And you know, Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light, and we have to come out of the darkness. This world is, this world is wicked, and we, like I say, we live in this world, but we're not supposed to be of this world. Come out to the dark. Come out of the darkness and into the light. Light for Jesus. Let our light shine. Let our light shine. All right. Now the verses for this one is Jeremiah 33:3, of course. Ephesians 1:18. Psalms 143:10. And Revelation 21:23. I'm gonna read these again. Jeremiah 33:3. Ephesians 118, Psalms 14310, and Revelation 2123. That's that one. Alright, now I'm gonna read Psalms 91 and then we're gonna close we're gonna I'm gonna close it out. Praise God, hallelujah. Turned right to it. I turned right to it. Praise the Lord, how it went the wind's blowing. Alright. Here we go. If you want, if you guys want to read along with me, you can read along with me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. It shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. 
Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's do Psalms 23 real quick. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. For all, for all the people for all the people that have lost their lives already. The islands, some of the islands, the islands that got washed away. All the people that perished. All right. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever forever. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Psalms 25. The Holy Spirit's leading me again. Psalms 25. And to thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have ever they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. And we are all sinners saved by grace. We are all sinners saved by grace. Once we accept Jesus into our hearts, he remembers our sins no more. The meek will he guide in judgment. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. Get ready to turn this page. There's ants. Let's see. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Shall, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Verse 12 of Psalms 25. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. I just read that. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his, his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. He will show him his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, and he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Didn't they hate Jesus? Didn't they hate him and persecute him, mock him, laugh at him, hung him on a cross, crucified him? Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all of its trouble. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer again. I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer again. You know, this, this word, this Bible right here, this word is sharper than the two-edged sword. And in this word is where we find our answers. And we find our love. Our love. And true understanding. 
wisdom, knowledge. And you know, lean, we are to lean not unto thine own understanding. But in here, this is where we find our answers. And a closer relationship with Jesus. It's not about all these different religions. It's a personal relationship with Jesus. Pure and simple. A personal relationship with the Lord. All these man-made religions. And soon, we're going to have the New World Order. Where they want all the religions combined into one. No. No. So, get into the Word, people. Get into the Word. Read it. Read it. A scripture or two every day. Just read a little bit. Feed to feed your soul, to, to feed your spirit, to feed the spirit. Amen. It's manna. It's manna. So, all right, all right. I love you guys. Let's do the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, amen. And we're up to 30. Oh, locusts, get him off of me. What do you think of that? A locust just landed on my leg. What are the odds of that? What are the odds that a locust would land on my leg? I don't know where it went. It come down out of the tree. A locust landed on my leg. A locust. See the devil. The old devil. He's he's crafty. He's crafty. He's crafty. That's never happened. That's never ever happened. It was a green it was a green one. It was a green one. Wow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So let's do the Lord's Prayer one more time. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. And we rebuke all forces of darkness. We rebuke them and send them back to the pits of hell. Send it back to the pit of hell. All forces of evil. All forces of evil. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Your word says, Lord, what shall be bound in heaven shall be bound on earth, and what shall be loosed in heaven shall be loosed on earth. For it is written, Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I wish I could have showed you guys that thing. I wish I, wish I could have showed you. It was a big old green one. Big old green one. Landed right on my leg. Right down here on my leg. See, that was just, again, that was just the devil's, the devil's way of getting me a little bit scared. Just a little bit, just, just for a couple seconds. So anyway, all right. I love you guys. Till my next video or next my next scope, I love you and God bless you. Okay, bye-bye for now. Remember, eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. Put on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, and the helmet of salvation to be able to come against the wiles of the devil and also take up the shield of faith, the shield of faith. So this is Reverend Gloria Harlow Drummond wishing you all a very blessed day. Keep, it, keep everybody, keep it everyone in your prayers keep everybody in your prayers pray for sister gloria too pray for me too as well so invite people to my channel too and invite people to my channel all righty i love you guys okay bye-bye for now bye-bye